Good morning, my wonderful, beautiful uh, YouTube followers or my followers on my blog, if you happen to be watching this video on my blog. This is, uh, yeah, Star Diamond Coach Barbie Figure One. I'm here with my little furry baby. I don't know if you can see him. You want to say good morning? He's my little rabbit. Have you girls, have you guys seen my rabbit? Isn't he so cute? He's my rabbit. Yeah. He's my little baby here. So anyway, good morning. I am coming to you today with a video that hopefully will help you. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you know that I don't just talk about, you know, uh, just weight loss. And I don't talk about, you know, muscle groups and, you know, burning fat and the, 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 the physical part of working out. I mean, I've touched upon it a few times, but I, I really focus on the things that I know are really keeping people from reaching their goals. Um, and the reason I talk about the deeper stuff is because whether you realize it or not, it's the deeper stuff that's keeping you spinning your wheels or self-sabotaging or keeping you from achieving your goals. And so as much as you want to lose 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 53 pounds like I have, until you get rid of the garbage that's holding you back, it's going to be very difficult to get results. Very difficult. And I know this from personal experience, which is why I, I come from that place uh, to help my challengers because this is more than just about losing a few pounds and, and vanity, okay? So that being said, I want to share a story with you, something that you know, um, you know, as a beach body coach, we think, oh gosh, you know, I, I'm a coach, so I have to be perfect and all these things. But you know, nothing could be further from the truth. Just because I'm a beach body coach doesn't mean that I am not a customer first and that, you know, I have as many challenges as other people. I mean, if you've been following my story for any period of time, and if you haven't, please go back to my YouTube channel and look at the very first video that I uploaded. And you'll see that I was 225 pounds, okay? Uh, not anymore though. Um, you know, I've had a heck of a journey and I always tell people that I talk to that sometimes I've had points in my journey where any mommies can relate to this, you know, like when you're pushing a, uh, uh, the baby carriage and, uh, but you forgot you left one of the brakes on. So you're kind of moving forward, but you're kind of dragging along. Well, that's kind of like what my journey has been like this time. And, and the good thing is I've been able to recognize some of the patterns and like wake myself up um, because a lot of us tend to self-sabotage. So today's video is going to be uh, talking about one form of self-sabotage that could be keeping you from achieving your goals, okay? So about, uh, I don't know, a month and a half ago, I started really tweaking my diet and really, really being more conscious of what I was doing, uh, but I was still doing something every single day that was hampering my results. And I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it until I really started to analyze it and do some research and everything like that. And uh, then just one day it clicked in my head. Now what I was doing was, and it may be something that you're doing every single day, and I'm not saying that everybody that does this has the same results or the same issues. I'm just saying this is what was happening to me and maybe you can relate. But I used to weigh myself daily, daily. Okay. And what happens is that just naturally our body are, is going to go through fluctuations. You know, I mean, uh, you could have drank an extra glass of water or maybe you haven't, you know, gone to the bathroom or whatever. And that's going to affect your weight at any given time of the day and it's funny because i in, in as a beach body coach i see a lot of people really getting results their pictures are like incredible but they're they're weighing uh, themselves and they're only relying on that number to define their progress and you know I, I was one of them and so i was weighing myself daily and here's what would happen to me when i would weigh myself daily and maybe you can relate I would get up on that scale, and if I saw a lower number, I was excited. I was like, all right, yeah, oh my God, a pound and a half down or two pounds down, whatever. So you know what? I didn't realize what I was doing. I would be a little more relaxed because I had just weighed myself, and I was a couple pounds lighter. 
so I wouldn't really track my calories as diligently or I'd have a little extra something that I shouldn't have or whatever and then guess what happened when I weighed myself the next day I would gained a pound I'm like oh my god oh my god I can't believe this so guess what I was doing to myself I was in a vicious cycle of self sabotage and in a roller coaster of emotions that was really keeping me from making progress so I was spinning my wheels for like two weeks with the same two three pounds and I attribute it because I was weighing myself daily and the result of weighing myself daily was not only affecting me um, emotionally but it was if it, it was affecting me psychologically too and it was keeping me from moving forward so I'm so happy because one day I was having a conversation with my younger brother in Virginia and he says to me you know I only weigh myself once a week and I know that there's other people that weighed myself once a week, but I guess I needed that that reassurance that, hey, it's okay to weigh yourself once a week, you know? And so uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put my foot down. I am going to just weigh myself once a week. So it was my birthday weekend. Uh, it was my 40th birthday, and I am not even going to lie to you. I had birthday cake, and I had several slices of birthday cake uh, because it was my birthday and because it was my party, and I wanted to, right? So, um, but on that what the the Monday the Monday after okay you want me to uh, let you down no he's good he's just licking my arm here so on the Monday afterwards um, I had gained two pounds and I was like I expected it all right whatever okay fine I'm not gonna I'm not gonna weigh myself so I made a pact with one of the girls in my challenge group who was having the same issues she was weighing herself daily and not getting the results she wanted so I said let's make a pact let's not weigh ourselves for an entire week and we'll only weigh ourselves on Friday. I said, pinky swear. She's like, pinky swear. I was like, okay, great. So, you know what happened? Since I knew I w didn't have to weigh, I was not going to weigh myself, I was super conscious. And I was like, I am not going to weigh myself and I cannot screw up. Okay, let me let you down. Bugsy wanted to go down. So, I, I am not going to weigh myself and because I had no idea how much I weighed, it was kind of scary not knowing. So I'm like, okay, I have to really be on my best behavior. I have to really reel it in. I have to really be conscious of what I'm doing because I've got to drop weight, not just to prove to myself that I can be disciplined enough to do this, but because I can't let my challenger down because sh she is not weighing herself either. So I was like, oh my God, I didn't weigh myself and I was super careful with what I was eating and I felt it. I felt that I was consciously aware of what I was doing and that I wanted that scale to go down. I, I had to have that scale go down. So what happened? I knew that I had to take different actions and change my behaviors so that I could get the result that I wanted on Friday. So Friday comes and I get on, uh, I'm about to get on the scale. I am terrified. I'm already talking myself into, well, if I've gained weight, I'll just, you know, I'll take it as a learning experience and this and the other and, and whatever. And I thought, Oh, this is going to be like, uh, you know, horrible. I'm going to gain weight and blah, blah, blah. I go and I step on the scale and I lost four pounds. Four pounds. The two that I gained over my birthday plus an additional two pounds. I was over the moon excited. I finally did not self-sabotage myself. I finally got past that hump. Now, why was I self-sabotaging myself? is where I love to get into the deeper stuff, right? Because when I was growing up, the pattern of my life was I would not allow myself to truly feel success. You know, I uh, when I was growing up, I was tested gifted, I got scholarships to go to different schools, all that stuff, but as I, uh, you know, uh, when I was gonna go to the gifted school, you know, I wasn't allowed to go to the gifted school, so, you know, boom, I didn't experience that success. When I went to college and I got my four my four year full paid tuition scholarship, uh, I I I had to quit school because I had to support myself. So I didn't see success. So the pattern in my life has been I haven't allowed myself to really feel success. So I sabotage myself. Can you relate? If you can relate, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know. Because I really hope this helps you. You know, if you're self-sabotaging yourself, this, this, my particular way of self-sabotaging myself was weighing myself daily um, and getting frustrated and, and spinning my wheels and 
being relaxed if I lost a little weight, but I hated myself if I gained weight. It's horrible. You know, those feelings come from already, you know, behavioral patterns that you already have. And you need to nip those at the bud and change them so that you can be successful in other areas of your life, including achieving your weight loss goals. Okay? So hopefully this helps you. Um, I think it's really, really important to dig deeper into why uh, you're not achieving your goals. And if you are willing to look inside yourself, I'm sure there's something that you can find that's, that's keeping you back, keeping you uh, from achieving your goals. And you have to commit to accepting them, forgiving them, and, and moving forward so that you can finally get the results that you deserve. Okay? So... If you are spinning with your wheels, if you're frustrated and you don't have the support you need, but you know you want to break through, you know you want to achieve your goals, you know you want to make a positive change and are willing to do the work, please visit my website at www.jointhefitnesschallenge.com. I experience a tremendous joy helping people break through the things that are keeping them from losing the weight because once you can break through those things that are keeping you from losing the weight then losing the weight becomes simple this has been coach barbie figueroa visit my website www.jointhefitnesschallenge.com and after you opt in you can go and visit my website click on my facebook link and become my friend and uh, i look forward to getting connected with you and speaking with you very soon have an awesome awesome day bye